the Department of State Service, where arrest of Omoyele Shore, the convener of Hashtag Revolution Now, is still attracting reactions from Nigerians, with many condemning the security agency and the presidency over the rage. Our reporter, Irene Ubani, had a chat with legal practitioners Chinedum Emeche and Tony Ujuawa on the dramatic scenario that played out in the courtroom. The conversation around the DSS and then um, insurance issue, right? Yes. So what's your take on the alleged invasion of the court by the DSS? Again, I say alleged. I mean alleged because nobody seems to have the full fact. Absolutely. I, I don't have the full facts. The, from the videos we, we've seen, there's been a lot of commentaries on both sides. Yeah, yeah but, but from a legal standpoint, you know, um, the law is that you cannot affect arrest in a court in a court, when the court is in session, the uh, court is sitting, when court proceedings are, mm -hmm. uh, are ongoing. And the reason is simple. The court uh, proceedings cannot be disrupted. Um, if the DSS has good reasons to arrest anybody, provided they, they follow the due process of the law, there shouldn't be a problem with that. And what is the right way to have gone about this if, peradventure, that did happen? Well, I now, think once, once the arrest was not effected whilst the court was sitting, yes, then that could be a premise. Even though, so the, the, well, that's a legal premise. Taking away the the drama around the rearrest. Okay. Yes. Yes. The drama perhaps is needless. And finally, what's what's the constitutional backing for the action of the DSF? If DSS, if there be any at all. In what action now? In rearresting or in both. yes, in both. <laughs> well, so see, law enforcement agencies have broad powers in relation to um, ensuring peace and good order. Um, um, whether the DSS has acted within the ambit of the law in this case mm -hmm. will be determined by the court. I mean, the case is in the court, uh, but um, I think we need to balance the need to keep our society safe and the need for people to move around freely or express themselves freely. Mm -hmm. We need to achieve that balance. All right, Toby, the final Absolutely. word. Uh, well, it uh, personally has been, um, um, I think things could have been done um, um, the Much, less dramatic. Yes, in the less dramatic, <laughs> dramatic way. So we don't veer off into emotions and politics, mm -hmm. as it were. But strictly speaking, I think things could have been done in a much, much less dramatic way. All right, thank you so much. Thank thing. you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Meanwhile, the Senate on Thursday mandated its Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters to investigate the alleged invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja during a court sitting by members of the Department of State Security Service, the DSS. The resolution of Senate followed a point of order brought by the Chairman Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Senator Bami Dile Okmayemi, APC Ekiti. Okmayemi cited all the 43 of the Senate rules suggesting the Senate should mandate Committee on National Security to investigate and report back to the Senate. Also, the federal government has ordered an investigation into the Friday invasion of the Federal High Court of Abuja by the operatives of the Department of State Service. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, spoke to reporters at the premises of the Federal High Court in Abuja on Wednesday after paying a concert visit to the Chief Judge of the Court, Justice John Tosho. The minister clarified he did not visit a judge over Shoray's case, but to congratulate him on his confirmation by the Senate as the substantive Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Asked if he was not appalled by the DSS conduct, Malami said, whatever affects the integrity of the court is a worrisome issue for all. He, however, revealed government has put in place mechanism for investigation of the reported incident.